let's talk to Nadine. Nadine, we know that you are very proud to be part of Century Tuna family, but um, we would like to know what is an essential part of being the face and the body of Super Buds? Self-confidence. Yes. Um, kasi iba talaga pag nakikita ng mga tao na, oh, this person, this, this ambassador or this celebrity endorser has or exudes that kind of confidence. Nakakaano siya eh. It, it inspires other people to, you know, to better themselves and to do the same. Mm -hmm. So I was really happy when um, when Century Tuna wanted me to be a part of the family. Kasi nga, like, to me, it's a whole nother level. Now it's like, oh my God, I'm being recognized na rin sa fitness. Uh -huh. So it was really, it was really a, a great moment for me at that time. Um, yeah, so it just, I, I, it's nice how people see me as someone who is inspiring. But of course, being a celebrity ambassador, you have this responsibility. Yes. But what is the challenge of having this kind of responsibility and uh, parang you have to maintain a, a certain kind of image for the public? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's always been um, it's always been my goal to you know be fit and be healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, I've always wanted to have uh, a nice you know a nice figure. And when it comes to fitness, talagang I've always ah, okay, you know okay. strive to to be better in that. So um, with this one, because it only pushed me to um to stay fit which is nice because before na like i would always be uh -uh. lalo na nung ecq parang i was so relaxed i was just watching tv all day or playing computer games i wasn't really eating right and then um uh every time i would get reminded now oh, kasi ang dami naming century to na sa cabinet <laughs> That's what I would always eat. I'm not lying. I would always make um, tuna sandwiches, and that's one of my favorite uh, favorite things to eat during the mor uh, in the morning or kaya merienda. So it would always remind me, na oh, okay, you have a no, you have this image to ano uh, to to protect, and you have to be fit and all that. So it's not really it's not really difficult. It's just that I needed that reminder and. Mm -hmm. No, like until now, I'm still staying fit, and I'm really glad because the ECQ taught me so much. I got back into a proper routine. I would wake up early, like 6 a.m., and then I would start working out around 7 and then sleep early. So, like, I, I, I can say that my um, um, ECQ did me good. And we salute you for being an inspiration to many. But of course, before we we move forward, we wanted to know, how are you generally this quarantine? Honest, Nikki was really hard. Because mm -hmm. everyone was so far away from me. Um, I'm in Makati and all of my friends are in the north. They're all taga QC. So it was difficult because I'm the kind of person who would lean on my friends. Because mm -hmm. when I get when I get anxiety attacks, like my anxiety is really bad. So every time na parang it's it's a small it's like a little thought lang. Tapos pasok sa utak ay eventually it it grows into something bigger and then I start to get paranoia and then you know then ako parang like, ganon na ako eh. like I get to a point where I really cry and sure. break down. So yes, um, it was really tough, but. I'm glad because all of my friends are always messaging me. They're always checking up on me, asking me how I'm doing. And um, to be honest, I I really like the, uh, the quarantine because I got a chance to somehow. Um, parang I learned how to um, how to adapt mm -hmm. and how to handle uh, my anxiety on my own. So before, when before I was so dependent on my friends, now because of the ECQ, I learned to, you know, how to. I've been writing a lot during the ECQ, so I learned mm. how to channel my emotions through writing. Um, I was also meditating a lot. I was doing yoga. Um, at one point, I was doing flower arrangements. So wow. you know, I learned how to cope uh, and handle my anxiety and the, all that stress on my own, which is really good then well i'm glad you found uh, a way to you know to be self 
uh, reliant. Yes. But um, kanina you were asked, how do you manage to to stay strong? But I wanted to know, how do you manage to stay positive in this very uncertain, uncertain times? Um, well, I mean, now there's a lot of things going on. Yes. Not just here in the Philippines, but everywhere in the world. Um, you can't really turn your back on like all the negative, all the bad things that are happening. You you can't, you know, um, you can't avoid all the news that you see on your news feed. Like when you check Facebook, all the news, it's all there. Um, sa phone mo, naga alert yan. So yeah. you can't, but um, me kasi, although at some point it was really, it was affecting me really bad. Na parang, oh my god, oh my god, feeling ko the world was ending. That's how I felt. I was like, tumataas yung number ng, ng, ano, ng COVID cases and oh then my. happening in the States. At that time, it was, ano, it was yung riots in the States and that was happening. And um, I remember telling myself, kasi I had watched this uh, documentary where um, Parang ang sinasabi kasi doon sa documentary na right now the world is going through parang a purge. Mm-hmm. But eventually, ascension. Uh, it, it, like everything's gonna be um, back to the way it was peaceful. Kasi now we're going, reset, so to speak. Now the world is going through a big change. Mm-hmm. Parang yun yung sinasabi nila now is the time na the earth is going through a big big change. So, yun, I just, you know, trusted na everything is eventually is going to be fine and that this is a part of it. Kasi even though like a lot of things are happening, a lot of bad things. After kasi like yun nga, gaya nga ng sabi nung uh sabi ng south border, 'di ba? Like uh after the rain there comes the rain. 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 Yes. Diba? So that's where my mind is because when bad things are happening, it only means that you know good things are gonna start happening soon. But now we just have to go through go through all these things mm-hmm. and eventually everything's gonna be fine. So I have that mentality like every day. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much, Nadine. Now let's have the fun.